So Mark, some news came out last week that really looks transformational for Enviro Gold. Could you tell us about this news with BHP? We're delighted to have been incorporated into BHP's Think and Act Differently program. Uh, it's TAD for short. Um, essentially what it is, it's a, a group of very large mining companies um, who look for promising and emerging technology and they are willing to work with those people providing the technology and that's the case for us. We've got uh, several of the large mining companies wanting to send us tailings now. So how does this process work? Is there funding involved from the groups in the program and are you working directly with them? So the group, um, it's very interesting because the group consists of a con uh, what they call a cohort and our co cohort has several early stage technologies and ours which is probably the most advanced technology in the group. Um, we work directly with um, the mining companies themselves. We're part of their supplier base and we do all of the technology evaluation, we do all of the development work and they pay for it. So does this program make it easier for you to sign additional deals with new partners and do you think it's a vindication of the technology you're working on? I think for us it's a, it's a huge leap forward uh, in terms of the fact that these large mining companies see uh, the, the prospect of getting metal recovery from the tailings that, that we bring to the table. And yes, we think it's going to open up doors. We think that there are going to be more people come uh, to chat with us. And we expect to be able to announce that in the next little while. Going a step further, do you think there's more work to be done in order to convince the entire industry that your process will truly push resource recovery forward? I think it's vindication and there is more work to be done. Um, the tailings that we're getting are different from the tailings that we've been working on previously at the Helia project, of course. And so we need to fine tune our process for those particular tailings projects. So yes, vindication and yes, there's some more work. Great. Now, could you give us a brief refresher on the history of EnviroGold's recovery technology? Yeah, about um, three years ago, Heli Gold Mines came to us to see if we could unlock uh, the gold and silver in the tailings that they have at the Helia mine. Um, we took uh, an approach to that, which was to get the material in the lab, do our own proprietary evaluation, and we developed the technology, which is an adaptation of something that was previously used. We've added on some recycling of the uh, leach solutions and we think we've got something that will broadly apply to tailings that are sulf sulfitic in nature, sulfide tailings, and it will allow us to recover those metals quickly. Um, the nice thing about our projects are that they can come to fruition in a very short time. An average mining project probably takes 12 to 15 years to come online. We're looking at two to three years. Right. So just to confirm, the pilot project that you've already worked on has been on gold and silver. Has there been any other minerals involved as well? It's been primarily on, on four metals. Um, we've done gold, silver, and copper and zinc. So that was the success that we got with the Helia pilot plant that we've just completed at uh, ALS in Perth, Australia. Now, I wanted to end off with the status of the Helia pilot plant. What are the next steps and are there some catalysts that investors should look out for? So following the successful completion of the pilot plant, we were very pleased with the recoveries of the metals that we got. Um, we published that in our press release, getting 90% uh, of gold and silver, which was really nice. Um, we will be updating our technical report in the next few weeks and then we will go on to uh, start the definitive feasibility study.